Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. In this video, we will show you how to configure a dynamic pump symbol with multicolor status indication using the WinCC Unified. Whether you are designing HMI for water treatment, manufacturing, energy, or any other industry, this technique helps operators instantly understand the pump's status. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a pump graphics that change color based on its state. For example, if the idle are the, in the manual state and you want to change the color, so once the bit is true, as you can see right side, I have the uh, bit-wise representation. So once the bit is true, then the color of the pump is changed. For example, the, we just start the pump and till now we did not receive the run feedback. So pump the color will change to the orange color with the click option. So once our pump is running mode, that time our pump color is changed to green. Similar manner, for example, if our pump is fault or is stripped due to any reason, the pump color will change to the red. And similar manner, our pump is stopped uh, due to some warning or if it is in the maintenance mode, the pump color will be changed. The operator can just look from the pump color and he will understand right now what is uh, the current condition of the operation. So similar manners, if you want to put some white color, you can also do it. So let's see how we can configure this multiple color uh, in the pump symbol object. So we configure uh, and we create uh, one for this project in our previous tutorial. We'll use the same. So we just expand the and overview. So open the overview. And our previous tutorial, we just creating this uh, pump instance. So I will right click, go to the library version. And here is the our pump instance that we created. So if I will right click and edit type. And here you can see in our previous tutorial, we configure, we'll go here in the miscellaneous interface, expand and then the basic color we configure a tag plus pump run. Okay, that is a Boolean data type. But for uh, right now, we'll configure the multi bit. So for multi bit, the Boolean data type will not be used. We have to use the data type word. Okay, for that purpose, I will just discard the changes. Okay, for that purpose, we will go here in the our PLC a program and here UDT will create it for the pump. I will open it, right click, edit type. And here I will add one more row. Okay. So I will put the name like status and the data type should work. Okay, and to release the version. Now I will close it. Now I will again go to my form object that we are to your object. Just this part. Yes. 
right click add the type now i select the form and then interface basic color tag and from here first i will select the multimedia and then i will come here and from here So if you are not able to find it here, you are newly created here, you have to just close it. You have to go in here, the tag interface, and here because the old version is still connected. So select it from here, the updated version that you just now update your UCP. Then go back in the visualization, select your form, then interface, basic color, tag, and from here. You will be able to find it your newly created tag. Just select it. Now, next thing, I will put it here my width number. First, width is zero. And I want to change this default color. I will do darker gray. And double click here over the add new. Then the next bit, I want like orange color. I want this orange color and then i also want link click yes and for the link i want some default like gray gray type some default link color this i want i will just uh, control power yes so I want once uh, alternate color should be this that is my default color. Okay, and then double click again for the next bit, second bit. Once the pump is coming, I want green color. Then again double click over the add new. Then for bit B, I will change color in the case of fit. I will put it red. Then for the next bit four, I will double click over the add new. Then I will select the yellow color. And the last, for example, the standby, I just want to change from white to some white color. Click here and select the white. That's it. And now click here and then release the version. And update the So now our updated version is 0 0 0.03. Update everywhere where we are using. So now we will create a button just to demonstrate our grid signals that we can uh, simulate from the PLC program also. Okay, after updating UDT, if you are here in the form interface, here you are getting some error like the data type that has changed, it's showing you here error. Any other idea how you can fix it? Go in your PLC program block, double click here, and you have to, here you will also get the red arrow indication. Just click it here, update interface, then the inconsistency will go and it will update the user, the program, and the error will be. So now we will create a button. To create a button, click here in the toolbox, then we'll create here in the button. And uh, I will put the name of the button, for example, off. 
idle or uh, it's a manual state. And then we will come here in the event and then click, for example, I will press the press and I will go here and from here I will select the tag and then uh, we will select the invert bit tag. Invert bit tag in tag. So it's will work as a toggle function. So whatever the state, it will convert that state. So now we'll come here. Our form one call number and status part. And this is our bit zero. Okay. Then we'll just uh, copy and paste. We'll duplicate this option and we'll just double click and rename our text starting our transition state. Okay. And just come here in the event and we'll just Change this bit zero to one. The manner will just copy paste again. Double click here and we'll change the name on the money. And after that, plug the press and change the bit for the one. I will change. Again, we copy and the paste. I will click here. I will rename for Mara. Rename with the coordinate and in here we also change it for then copy and In a valence, so just for example, you can put any name, okay? So here it's C O here. Now we will save it and we will download our program. So our HMI program is downloaded. So now we'll open the runtime. So right now my pump color is light gray. If I click it here, so you can see the color is changed a little bit dark. Again, toggle the bit. Now, second bit I will click over the transition or starting. So, my color is also linking and the color is following. Now, if I will turn on bit for the my run bit, if I on through my logic, 
and to receive the run feedback, the pump color is changed. So I'm just changing the bit from here. So you uh, you have to ensure it uh, while using this uh, configuration. You have to ensure it only once. Uh, only single bit will be true in all of the world. No double bit should be true. So once we receive the bit, the for the for bit, the pump color is changed to red. In that manner, once we receive the warning or maintenance bit, then the pump color change to yellow or orange. And similar manner, once we receive a little bit white color change the pump. So Alhamdulillah, we learned in this video tutorial how we can configure the pump uh, object with multiple colors, how we can change it. So like that. Uh, you can configure your pump uh, status based on the color. So thanks for watching this video.